Hi everyone, my name is Andrew Rosenbank. I'm the Director of Admission for the School of Pharmacy at Massachusetts College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences. Thanks for so, so much for joining us today. I wanted to talk a little bit about MCPHS and what we can offer to you in terms of a PharmD degree. Uh, we do offer two different programs, a direct entry program on our Boston campus, that's a six-year program, two years um, of pre-professional work and four years of professional work. We also offer a, uh, an accelerated program on our Worcester, Massachusetts, and Manchester, New Hampshire campuses that would take you 34 months to complete the professional phase of the program. Much more information about that exists on our website. Happy to talk to you at any time. But what we thought we would do today is talk a little bit about the rich history of educating pharmacists at Massachusetts College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences and a little bit more about the career that goes beyond what you normally might think of when you think of pharmacy. So joining me today are a few of our alumni to tell you about their careers and journey with pharmacy. Uh, first up is Madeline. We'd love for you to introduce yourself and tell us a little about, about your background. Hi everyone, my name is Madeline Aquilano. I received my doctorate of pharmacy degree from MCPHS Boston campus in 2019. I went on to do a PGY1 residency at a hospital at St. Vincent's Medical Center um, in Bridgeport, Connecticut. And then right after residency, I became a clinical pharmacist at Hartford Hospital in Hartford, Connecticut. Um, I also got board certified as a pharmacotherapy specialist this past fall, worked all throughout the pandemic. Um, I am a pretty multi-specialty clinical pharmacist, so I work in many different areas. Uh, today I was in the medical ICU, for example, so every day looks a little different, um, but every day is exciting. So it's been a very interesting and great career so far, Andrew. That's great, Madeline. Thank you so much. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's wonderful to hear. Next up is Patsy. Patsy, would you like to introduce yourself? Sure. Thank you, Andrew. Hi, everyone. My name is Patsy Castellino, and I am a 2018 graduate of the Doctor of Pharmacy program out of the Boston campus. After I graduated, I completed my postgraduate training with a mid-sized biopharmaceutical company in the Cambridge area, so right across the river from MCPHS. And that program was actually co-sponsored by MCPHS, so I've kept my, my ties to the university even after graduating. And in the time since, I've stayed on at that company um, and am a regulatory manager, um, both US and global responsibilities. And I'm really excited to be here and answer some questions for you. Thank you. Thank you, Patsy. And last but not least, we have John. John, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. Thank you, Andrew. My name is John Finikos. I currently serve as the Director of Pharmacy at Brigham and Women's Hospital here in Boston, Massachusetts, one block away from the college. Uh, I graduated in 1984. Uh, completed uh, my residency training here at Brigham and Women's Hospital, thought I would be here for a year, and 37 years later, I'm still here. My job has changed uh, numerous times in that uh, period. Uh, I acted or uh, performed as a clinical pharmacist for a series of years. Uh, I realized after learning many of and acquiring many clinical skills that I had no background in business. So I went on and got my master's degree in business administration and have served in a variety of management roles here in the last 20 or so years. So it's been an exciting career uh, because my job has changed just about every three to four years in being asked to uh, participate or perform a different role as a pharmacist. So it's been uh, really uh, wonderful in terms of what MCP gave me as a background, as a jumping point for lots of lots of different jobs here in the hospital. Great, thank you. I'm just gonna ask one question to the group and if we can go around and have Madeline answer and then uh, Patsy and John. Um, I'm really just interested to learn what inspired you to pursue a degree in pharmacy and how you discovered that you could get to a career that you're in right now um, that's outside of that, what we view as that traditional white coat behind um, the pharmacy counter at a local community pharmacy. Madeline? Yeah, so I originally kind of decided I wanted to go to pharmacy school or got interested um, in medications when I was actually in high school. 
I unfortunately had a lot of migraines and was put on a lot of different medications, SSRIs, all these things um, that I honestly had no idea what they did. I experienced a lot of side effects because of it. My parents had no medical background. We were just totally in the dark. Um, and I think I went through this process of, of just honestly not understanding the treatment I was getting and going through the side effects that I kind of dawned on me, like how do drugs interact with our body? How do they interact with each other? It was just kind of this like starting point of being interested. And then thinking of pharmacists now and how connected they are to um, the community, like you said, everyone thinks of that as their typical pharmacist. And I think that's great because or I want people to think of that more because I could have turned to my local pharmacist and probably gotten a lot more answers than I had at the time. Obviously now I have way more insight to migraines and everything that I had personally going on at that time. Um, but I had no idea back then. And I wish I kind of had someone in my corner that, that knew all of those things. Um, so I love that pharmacists are so connected to the community. Um, but it was really during pharmacy school and going through advanced therapeutics and those different classes that I kind of realized what clinical pharmacy was, because like you said, that's not really what people think of when they think of a pharmacist um, and instantly fell in love with all the therapeutics and how drugs work with body, different disease states and how those are treated and whatnot. So I fell in love with that kind of through the lectures in pharmacy school and then kind of had that. Um, love confirmed while I was a student on rotations as well. So that's how I have found myself in clinical pharmacy specifically. So Andrew, I'll pick up from there if that's okay. And it's really great to hear everyone's kind of why they got into it. I think this is my favorite part of these type of panels. For me, um, also humble beginnings, but a little bit different. I was a sophomore in high school and my chemistry teacher, Mr. Kozlo, um, told, told the class that his son was a pharmacist and he worked three days a week, made good money, and that was it. And so for me, that's what caught my eye. Because for me, to be honest, it was looking ahead at my future and I really wanted to be a little league coach. Um, and so the ability to work three days a week and then the rest of the week be able to have time to devote to other parts of my life was definitely very attractive. Now, obviously that's a very naive viewpoint and it's definitely evolved since. So that's what caught my eye. And I think what really kept my eye when I, when I started doing more research into what pharmacy was, was the deep and rich history and what pharmacy goes back to. And for me, I wanted to be a part of what pharmacy could be. And so with that is not only understanding what drugs are out there on the market, but how can we further develop science? How can we further bring options to patients? Because ultimately these options correlate to hope in some patients. And so my job in the drug development space is to bring these new innovative products to the market and help support that um, in a manner that's safe and effective. And so that's kind of my journey from just wanting to coach Little League. I don't just work three days a week now. I do work Monday through Friday, but um, it's a very rewarding um, facet of the pharmacy career. Well, I'll, I'll take over after, after Patsy. And my story is similar. Um, my dad is a pharmacist. So I had the opportunity to join him in his community pharmacy uh, and work several years. And as a high school student, uh, beginning at the age of 15, um, and worked all the way through to the middle of my college career at MCP, um, and quickly learned that I loved uh, the community setting. I loved being in the uh, in the drugstore, if you will, and being part of supporting healthcare in the in the community that the store resided. Um, my dad uh, had a number of friends across the profession of pharmacy, and I think you'll find that uh, that is very common. It's a very tight-knit group of practitioners. I had the opportunity to take an additional job in the hospital setting and surprisingly found that I liked the aspects of clinical practice, which led me uh, to my residency training in the hospital setting. Um, finally, uh, I'll tell you, there's always the opportunity to do other things. Patsy, I have served as a 
Babe Ruth baseball coach. Uh, I did five years of baseball coaching at the varsity level in one of the local high schools. So while uh, there is this love for the business of pharmacy, um, I do find that there's opportunities to do other things in the community that I think are, are important parts of, of work-life balance. So uh, back to you, Andrew. Yeah, thank you so thank much. You so we obviously have a pharmacy baseball connection that we'll have to explore <laughs> in the future. But I, so I actually just... played. I actually played baseball at MCP, Andrew. If you look, there should be a trophy where we were the small college champions uh, for two years running back in the 1980s. Go look for the trophy. I can give you the pictures. I can provide the pictures. Excellent. Thank you. Well, I just want to thank the entire group again for um, all that you've done to contribute to this panel today. Um, for those of you out there watching it, um, this is only scratching the surface of what is possible with a PharmD degree uh, from MCPHS. I encourage you to uh, see, seek us out a little bit more and feel free to get in contact with me for any questions that you might have about our pharmacy program. Again, thanks to our panel and everyone have a wonderful day.